The merger that was St George Illawarra Dragons boasted a lot of legends from both sides of Southern Sydney and Wollongong. Yet one man in particular played a big part in its early years, and that man was Nathan Blacklock, affectionately known as Tinga. He was playing his final home game in Cogra before an impending final series, and then a new chapter in England. Though opponents mainly Warringah Sea Eagles hoped to spoil the party, and early magic from the boots of Michael Monaghan put themselves in a great position early. He dumps it off to Lula Why he slides. Monaghan, a kick over the top, beautifully waited for Stevenson. The Sea Eagles will score first here this afternoon. A beautiful kick from Michael Monaghan. He lays it on a plate for Stevenson and they lead four points to nil. A very similar play moments later saw Paul Stevenson grab a quick fire double whilst the Saints pushed to get themselves onto the scoreboard. And Sean Timmons was able to do just that as the half approached. Thompson from dummy half gives it to Barrett. Second man play here for Timmons. Blacklock is unmarked, but Timmons doesn't need him. He shrugged away from one tackle to get across the line. But with all the attention surrounding one player, another of cult hero's status earned a piece of his own rugby league history. Monaghan, grubbering, chasing through his benches. There's the record. He now claims it on his own. A beautiful try. The timing was lovely. And Menzies has 147 tries, the most ever by a forward in rugby league in Australia. 14 down as the half approached. Trent Barrett looked to spark his side into action to regain some momentum. But his inspired effort backfired as the Northern Beaches outfit looked to end what had been a poor season and ended on a high. He gets the ball away, it comes to Carlaw, he settles it backwards to Monaghan, to Brett Stewart, now there's trouble, Donald is away, across the halfway line, Hornby can't get to him, Donald is away, and Manly score on the stroke of half time to blow the game wide open. Nathan Brown's men started the second half at 24-4, a new response was needed, and needed quick. Thompson. Taking it to them. Manly's defence has been rock solid so far in this game. But here's Withers, he gets an offload, looks for the line, and he thinks he's found it. Withers coming close to the line. Does he get it down? Yes. But his hope increased within the famous Cogra Oval. An injury to star captain Barrett dampened the mood. And then a controversial call completely soured it. Tackles from Manly here in this set of six still as Monaghan has Harris backing up on the inside. He ran into the shoulder there of Sims. He lost it forward. Picked up by Stewart. No. He will dive under the post. But they will check this. I've got to tell you, watching it live, it appeared there was no doubt at all. Absolutely no doubt it was a knock on. Sims made the big contact. But when you slow it down to this extent, you see the hand there I still of, think it's forward. of Harris knock it ever so slightly backwards perhaps so Steve Clark comes up with a try for the Sea Eagles the Dragons are all pointing for a knock on and it just got flat out embarrassing for the hosts as the Sea Eagles made the most of an amateurish howler to twist the knife further in chance for Manly back on the inside toe forward by Williamson he's there to pick it up Hornby couldn't get to it Williamson has it and it's Manly they have the wood on the Dragons, who just can't find a way to beat them in recent times. They lost to them in round nine earlier this year. They will lose again today. With 26 minutes to go, an incensed Dragons fan base couldn't bear watching anymore as their beloved side fell to 24 points down. Yet with a top four spot in reach, the man of the hour put the troops on his back for just one final time. Riddell from dummy half puts a kick in for Blacklock. Try number 119 in the career of Nathan Blacklock in his 141st game. What a strike rate that is. Still, Manly were 20 points ahead, yet coach Des Hasler seemed oddly anxious. And as he felt his shiver down his spine, maybe he knew one man in particular was just not going to let up. Will rue the choice. Here's Blacklock looking for the ball. He got to it. I was mentioning the thousands who left early who may now well be in their car driving away from Cogra thinking, should we turn around and go back? No, they do it so often. The Dragons do it so often to you. And only moments later, 
the Saints inflicted even more damage through future Premiership winning captain Ben Hornby. For Thompson to Hornby for the line, the fullback will get there to score for the Dragons. Oh, what a finish we've got coming up here at Cobra now. Don't get too confident, Warren. Still a long time to go, still a lot of football to be played. In the space of four and a half minutes, the Dragons scorched the Sea Eagles and Blacklock turned from scoring Kingpin to kicking Wizard for a third consecutive try of three consecutive sets. Young on the last, head with a chip over the top. Six more tackles, Blacklock has it. He puts a kick in, a chance here for Matt Cooper, diving for the ball, well scored for the Dragons. They can do no wrong. It's a red and white tidal wave that is swamping Manly here at Cogra. Blacklock in midfield looking for the football. Tremendous kick, holding up in the end goal. Cooper flying through. Cooper scores. The Dragons are back within four. Oh, Blacklock took a real chance here with a full set of six just metres out. It was an all or nothing play, but his kick was sensational. Brown was ecstatic on the sidelines, yet Desi was seething in the coach's box. But his men were still ahead by four as the clock ticked down and desperately needed to halt the rampant momentum their opponents had created. With the amplified atmosphere, nerves and jitters had clearly gotten to the Seagulls as the Dragons' fire continued to burn ever so brightly. This will be play number five. Hornby gives it to Head. They'll kick deep and try and force a mistake. They might even force Stewart to bring it back from the end goal. They might well trap him, but he makes it back to the field of play. Great work by the young fullback. Young Quest and Cooper were running down. Good effort by the two senior players, Thompson and Timmons. The Red V Army could sense it. Hasler feared it. But St George Illawarra knew it. As one of the greatest comebacks in rugby league history was laid bare for us all and laid manly flat in the ground. By Monaghan. Riddell goes from dummy half. He gives it away. It comes to Justin Paul. He's across the line. Paul scores for the Dragons. Paul scores a try that gets them back level at 34 all. We've seen bigger comebacks, but not better comebacks than this. One of the most amazing second halves of football you will ever see. Lovely pass from Head, steaming through a couple of players, scoring the try, locking the game up, and Riddell gets a chance. Brown's excited. With his and thousands of arms in the sky, Mark Piggy Riddell just needed to do what he did best to complete the heroic achievement. His previous strikes haven't been all that convincing. This one, though, is hooking back. The flags go up, and the Dragons have the lead. You've never seen anything like it. 26 points in 23 minutes. A legendary performance to send off one of the Red V's all-time greats. A day etched in NRL folklore. They were 24 points behind with only 23 minutes on the clock. And they have won 36 points to 34. The greatest comeback I've ever seen.